Billy Robertson. As I mentioned, he's recovered from injury. He's a really important player. But uh, Darvo on the defensive again, and it's Duncan looking to get it onto the left foot. Oh, that was a decent effort. Just didn't curl in as he hoped it would. But he does look sharp this evening. No, he does. He's a great play. Again, long ball in behind his own there. He's trying to just bend that into the far post. Doesn't quite get the bend on it. And it goes wide, but he's had a really bright start, Duncan. Lewis aiming for Duncan as well to keep it in. A break kindly for Shrewsdale. This could be an opportunity now. It's Caldwell who knows the way to go. And he rather rushed his shot in the end. And it's a couple of shots they've, they've managed to get away. Yet they're not the best efforts. Darvo closing Aberdeen down in their own defensive third. It's Caldwell picking up. Cruz deal now, he goes for goal and Lewis down to his right to prevent that sneaking into the near post for save for the Aberdeen keeper. Here's Meggett. Finds Cruz deal. Skips away from Ramadani, which is easier said than done. That's a decent looking ball. And it's a good defensive header from Coulson, still in danger, not clear though. It's in! Dumbledore in Wonderland! What about that? Incredible scenes in East Nersha! The home fans turned up, surely more than hope than anticipation. This Jim McFadden oh, is brilliant. Truesdale again at the heart of it. Great skill. And this is actually a really good header from Coulson at the back post. But then Aberdeen don't react. It's flashed across again. Yes, they get a slice of fortune in the, the actual finish. The deflection that takes it beyond Joe Lewis. But when the ball comes into the box, they both get men in there. They pick up the second ball and they keep it alive. Aberdeen don't react. And it's a lovely turn and hit. Going. Again, there's a pass on, it's McShane always offering himself. Some of this football is a joy to behold, it's McKenzie now. McShane, Robertson fancied his chances, and why not? It's remarkable football, it really is. You're looking at this, I'm looking at it scratch my head, this is a West of Scotland side, West of Scotland League side. Megat's head up, Duke trying to make something of it, Edie gets in there and then Bissauer flashes it goalwards, a bit too high. Decent effort from the substitute. That is a decent effort but he's got the option to pass Miofsky in. He goes for the shot, maybe it's a tough pass as well but at least he's coming on trying to make an impact. Aberdeen are making Davo defend a little bit more but the quality still has to be better. Picked up by Robertson. And leaves it to Truesdale. In an excellent first half. Back to McShane. Goes for goal. Oh my goodness, he got hold of that. And Joe Lewis collects it eventually. Stung his palms. Luckily for him, it was straight at him. Still had to deal with it though. Great effort. Here's Duke. Away from Edie. Into the penalty and it comes. Here's Duncan. Brilliant save from Truesdale to deny the teenager. Looked like the equaliser was on the cards, but Chris Truesdale had other ideas. What a save it is. And this is Duke at his best, running down the left hand side. That's a great save for the left foot. As, uh, the goal scorer is about to be replaced, Jordan Kirkpatrick. This could yet prove to be the crucial moment in the Scottish Cup tie. And 
regardless of whether it is or not, what a moment that is for Jordan Kirkpatrick. Jordan Kirkpatrick will not be able to enjoy the rest of this game. When you come off the up and you've got that winning margin, you're nearly there, you're nearly over the line. And it's really nerve-wracking. He won't be enjoying this. He can be happy with his performance and his goal, though. For the moment, here's Bazawa. Too much on it for Majorski. He keeps it alive, now it's Hayes. Ramadani gets it back to Hayes. Is it the equaliser? Not yet. And Caldwell is charging Ramadani at the edge of the box. Means that uh, Dar will survive. What a scramble that was in the six yard box. That's great defending again. It's really good play from Johnny Hayes because he recognises the ball comes from Mioski, so he doesn't want to put it straight in. Great pass and touch, and it's a, it's a brilliant save again, you have to say. Good reaction save from Truesdale, and they defend it well again. And that is clearly not a penalty kick, but they don't panic, they try and play out again, as they have done all night. He's forward, trying to get in behind, and he has done. Here's Clarkson. Oh, the offside flag is up. There's Aberdeen tapping. And that looked extremely tight. The assistant was very quick with the flag. Clarkson asking the question, was it me? Well, sure, it was him that was flagged. Oh. I mean, it, it's not a great angle, but it didn't look... It didn't look offside to me there. I'd need to see that again. And that's, you know, when it's going against you, it's going against you. And they come again, no, and it's Hayes, across goal, another brilliant save by Truesdale. That's three he's pulled off to keep his side in front. They come again, no, and that's a much more comfortable one, but my goodness, if Dargo progress in this cup tie, they might have Jordan Kirkpatrick to thank, but they certainly got Chris Truesdale to thank. It's another magnificent save, it really is, like, it makes himself back. Aberdeen, seven times Scottish Cup winners. Johnny Hayes in, header. Comfortable save for Tuesday on that occasion from Duke. Yeah, that's the easiest save he's had to make tonight. He's made some unbelievable stops. But I'd be glad that not a lot of power on that. The four minutes are up. Not forward. Can Aberdeen somehow manufacture a final opportunity for the equaliser? And Kennedy desperate for the full-time whistle. Why have we gone beyond the four minutes, he's asking. Stewart thumps it forward. It's never, never for Aberdeen. They've got to find a way into the penalty area. They can't do it. McShane rattles it forward. It's all over! What a victory! What a night! And what a result! Darville of the West of Scotland Premier League have knocked out Premiership Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup. Is this the biggest shock the Scottish Cup has ever, ever seen? So many heroes in blue. Darvel Football Club have just written their names in Scottish Cup folklore. And the celebrations begin and they will go on for a long, long time down in the Irvine Valley in East Ayrshire. Absolutely incredible scenes. And you cannot blame a single one of these fans and players and management staff for milking this one for all it is worth. Mick Kennedy absolutely loving it. And who can blame him? What a night!